Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Time now for sports on 104.7 The Cave. Here's Ned Reynolds. Mike, the intern, Ned Reynolds, both working on a hangover this morning <laughs> after our Chiefs happy hour last night at the dive on Patton. Again, thank you to everyone that came out. Chiefs Kingdom, he showed up, and again, we had a great night with uh, everyone, our sponsors, everyone that uh, wanted to see Mitch and Dana, and of course, Ned and myself talking about Chiefs football. Your thoughts on it? I thought it went very well. I thought I was very impressed with the crowd. You know, it rained a little bit right before the event started. It wasn't a terrible, heavy rain, but still, in this town, that's enough to deter some people. Didn't I thought we had a very good crowd, very vociferous one, and they love, <laughs> they love it at the end when Mitch asks them to uh, mimic his call, yeah. touchdown Kansas City. I mean, that place is loud when that happens. It was, it was very good. Mitch and Dana, uh, Dana and I should say, are are two really consummate pros in knowing how to articulate on their team course. This is what they do. This is their life. Although Danon is a banker and he has another profession, but Mitch doesn't. He just has his hands in every He every was at training camp yesterday. Oh, yeah. And that's, oh, yeah. I was kind of surprised that he when because obviously we got to discuss the dates and make sure Danon State works, works with Mitch's date. And when Mitch said this was the date I was born, Man, they're already like four or five days in the training camp at that point. Man, I can't believe he's going to do that. But the reason was because he was named Kansas and Kansian of the year, so he had to go to D.C. to do that whole thing last week. So that's why I got pushed back. And, but, and he missed a lot of the, the key elements of training camp, but they, those guys are right there, oh, and yeah. they are know exactly what's going on. I felt that they answered my question. That the one that I really wanted to ask is, is there a hangover on this team from the incidents that all happened in the offseason? And they said, well, you, you kind of roll with the punches, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, I think they the whole evening went very well. Everybody had good good camaraderie, good time, a lot of, a lot of red in the, mm-hmm. in the Patton Alley, but <laughs> it was a good time. It's a good time to be a Chiefs fan, and uh, that's a lot about what we talked about last night, the culture, the, the uh, guys that we drafted this year, the young guys that are coming back, that defense. I mean, obviously, everyone makes a huge deal about the Chiefs' uh, offense, but we talked a lot about the defense last night, and The too. defense is is very, very good. They have a very good attack. They're going to be tough, but the, the the both those guys are down there as representatives of the Chiefs. Nobody wants to hear anything else. Hey, keep in mind the other teams are all getting better too and oh, have yeah. very good athletes. It's it won't be an easy year, but I do think it'll be a winning one. And again, probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, schedule in all the NFL. Oh, pretty good. Mm-hmm. We'll have to see, but you know what that means. We got uh, pre games, preseason games coming up in like a week and a half, two weeks. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So, with the MLB draft behind us, uh, we had some thoughts about a local kid. Zach Stewart didn't even get mentioned in the top 20. And I think he knew ahead of time that that might happen. There were ramifications involved. But bottom line is this he didn't get drafted at all. He is going back and playing for the Bears. Well, that's very good news because this guy's a big time. He is a top draft choice. But the the subtleties and ramifications won't be in existence next year. He'll be a junior next year. He still has another year of college eligibility remaining. He has some factors in his favor that are going to be very good. He'll be a top-round choice next year. But Stuart coming back to the Bears is very big. Big-time home run hitter. Does need to work on his swing a little bit. He's a kid from Lebanon, and he's big, Mike. I don't think you've seen him, but he's, he's about 6'4", and ranges in the outfield very well. He is a huge help to a Joey Hawkins and the Bears, and this will be this will be a big plus for them. And then next year he'll go right back in the draft again, and he'll probably go very high. Yeah, and uh, we'll have some time behind his eyes too, which sometimes that's more important, I think, in the player's development. You don't need to necessarily jump into that ocean too quickly Mm-mm. because you might not ever get out of it. Um, <laughs> Last but not least, this is what the last year the uh, Bears are in the Missouri Valley Conference. That is correct. So this will be the final preseason pick in that conference and how they land. They have been picked ninth 
ninth in an 11-team league. South Dakota State, of course, the reigning national champs, and North Dakota State, they're, they're both right up there at the very top. South Dakota State is pick number one. But the Bears' ninth, I don't buy that at all. I think they'll be a much better team than that. Are they a championship contender? Probably not at this point. But they, they play a good, it's a good team. Uh, coach has gone to the transfer portal, and Ryan, had, Ryan Beard has really been very selective about the players he's taken in. He's, he's picked for the positions that they need on the line and the running backs and so forth and so on. I think they're going to be pretty good. Now, how good remains to be seen because it is a tough schedule. They open up. <laughs> I love this schedule, too. They open up in Missoula, Montana against University of Montana, which is the runner-up to national champion in 1AA football or FCS. They close the season with the team that beat them, South Dakota State. The champions. So you open with a runner-up to champion, close with the champion, and in between, the damn well better be pretty good. They're have a great season. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that will remain, and that's Ned across the street in the parking lot, tailgating before the game on get Saturday. Ready. <laughs> <Getting pumped. laughs> so last night, while we were in football heaven, there was some baseball being played. Let's start with the Cardinals. The Cardinals had a tough one last night, uh, whereas in the past games against the Atlanta Braves, who are banged up, and we've talked about this, the Cardinals' bats were able to come alive. They couldn't last night. Pittsburgh beat them by a score of 2-1. It was a base hit by Nick Gonzalez that drove in Brian Reynolds in the eighth inning, and that was the difference. Cardinals got pretty good pitching. Andre Pallante got the start, but it's John King who takes the loss in this one. Anyway, it's a Cardinals loss 2-1 to to the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they will play again tonight in uh, Pittsburgh. Royals had a pretty good weekend against a, obviously, down and out Chicago White Sox. Where were they yesterday? They took on the Arizona Diamondbacks in Kansas City and blasted them. Yes, they did. Kansas City 10, the Diamondbacks 4. And the, uh, the, these guys, they are living the dream right now. They are hitting the heck out of the ball. Three RBIs for Bobby Witt Jr., three for Vinny Pascantino, and three for Salvador Perez on one swing of the bat, three-run homer. 10 to 4. Kansas City, folks, is bombing that baseball. And they picked up a game on the Cleveland Guardians who lost. But so did the Minnesota Twins picked up that same game. So it's a virtual tie for second place. Four games back at the Guardians and a long way to go. Hey, it. <laughs> Everything is shaping up like a big one for Kansas City. I hope that they are able to sustain this momentum. I think they might be able to. They're getting a lot of confidence. Yeah, it's a tough division in a very tough conference. Uh, what about the uh, Springfield Cardinals? Those guys are in, but they're still looking good in this second half of the season. They have a record of 50 and 40. 50 wins, 40 losses. That's an overall record. But they are in a pitch battle for the championship in the second half, championship of the North. And as you mentioned, the Springfield Cardinals did win the first half, so they are into the playoffs. Cardinals are home tonight, taking on the Corpus Christi Hooks. Rather interesting series, Corpus Christi, the Houston Astros AA Farm Club, is not particularly good. But, hey, they can, they can play, and they beat the... Springbirds down in Corpus Christi. These teams are only playing these two series. One in Corpo, which is already done, and this one in Springfield, which will be done after the sixth game on Sunday. Tonight's game, if I can throw this in, Mike, is on television, KYCW, Channel 15. It'll be the Cardinals, Springfield Cardinals, and the Corpus Christi Hooks. And should be very interesting. Corpus Christi has a kid on their team who's blasting the baseball. His name is Zach Cole. And you take a look at him, there was a Zach Cole who played for Springfield Catholic. <laughs> Same guy. Ned, you have a good time uh, at that broadcast tonight. And again, stay as dry as possible. Did you catch that uh, U.S. men's basketball game yesterday? I did. I didn't see the very end of it, but I did watch a lot of it. And Mike, this is, this is difficult to say for a basketball fan and a chauvinist like Ned Reynolds. <laughs> but the days of the basketball teams in the Olympics... Blowing everybody in the... It's over. The, the, it's not going to happen no. anymore. The lopsided scores. Hey, when you beat South Sudan by one point, 101 to 100, with your best team out there, oh my. But the USA did win, beat Germany. The German team is very good. 92 to 88 was the final score. The, all these teams have NBA players. Or, or guys who are former NBA players. They're all there. They're on these other teams. The Wagner brothers are playing for Germany, along with several others who have NBA experience. But they're all good. And the one thing they do better from what the American teams do is shoot the ball from outside. The perimeter shooting of our USA pros is not very good. Yes, I know Stefan Curry is in there. 
And yes, it was 11 straight points that LeBron James scored at the end of the game to win it for USA. But in the old days, it wouldn't have made any difference. You would have been up by 30 or 40 points. Not anymore. Those days are over. And it also goes to show you how much of a team sport basketball can be when played the right way because you can have studs on your team, but if you guys aren't playing together, it don't mean nothing. And the USA, and, and there's no blame involved because no. the game is spreading all, all over the world. Everybody plays basketball. It's the USA guys who have gone overseas and trained these people of how to play it, how to play it the right way, and because they're smart, now they're playing it better than we do. <laughs> yeah, but again, that's what we love. That's yeah. why we love it. It's competition. Ned, you have a great Tuesday. Hey everyone, it is Ryan Seacrest here. Ready to heat up your summer vacation? Get ready, things are about to get sizzling at Chumba Casino. Your summer getting a whole lot hotter with a special daily login bonus waiting just for you. So sign up now for Reels of Fun and Reels of Prizes right here at Chumba Casino with yours truly. Join me at ChumbaCasino.com and dive into a summer of social casino fun. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.